Welcome to Top Speed. My name is Christy, and today in our garage we have the 2008 Toyota Highlander Hybrid. Now I know that if you've been following our video reviews, you know that we did a review on the Highlander before. Well today, we're talking about the Hybrid model. The new Toyota Highlander Hybrid is Toyota's second generation of their three hybrid vehicles. It joins the Prius and the Camry Hybrid. The new Highlander Hybrid is powered by a 3.3 liter double overhead hybrid engine, which produces 209 horsepower. This advanced hybrid synergy drive system has the fuel economy of 27 MPG City and 25 MPG Highway. It comes standard with four wheel drive equipped with intelligence drive. Just like the gasoline powered Highlander, the hybrid is available with the choice of a base or limited trim. The price for the 2008 Highlander Hybrid starts at $33,700. Now let's go outside and see exactly how different the hybrid model is from the gasoline powered model. This is the Toyota Highlander Hybrid and um, as you can see it looks a lot like the other Highlander trims. The only thing that's different about the hybrid trim is that it has a different grille with the basically it just has vertical columns coming here in, in the grille. I think this grille is actually a little nicer than the other ones. Um, it doesn't have integrated fog lamps like the other trims. The other trims have a nice little integrated fog lamp. This kind of just has like a fake uh, vent, which I preferably do not like. I, I rather have the integrated fog lamps. Um, as you know, uh, Toyota, gave, Toyota gave the Highlander a total facelift from 2007 to 2008 generation. Um, the facelifts included like new headlamps, an overall new body shape, and an overall everything just completely different about it. And I actually like it. It kind of looks like a large RAV4. So as we go towards the side, you can see that pretty much the side view of the hybrid looks exactly like the other Highlander trims. The only thing that's different and signature to the hybrid trim is of course the hybrid badge and the 17 inch standard wheels. Um, overall the side view, I, I like the side view, I like the fact that nowadays cars are coming out with like a smooth body panel. That, that to me looks a lot more appealing than the older cars where they had like a body panel that wasn't so smooth. So, And um, the chrome door handles with the little push button to open up the doors because of course this is the keyless entry. As you can see the rear kind of has that rounded out crossover look. Um, it's got the spoiler, this high mount stoplight, the low mount stoplights and a new tail light. All that is new on the Highlander. All the trims have the same thing. The only thing that's different about the hybrid um, model is that it has the hybrid synergy drive badge and it's got a little sticker that actually comes with it and basically you can drive on HOV lanes which is good. So now that we've checked out the outside let's check out where the biggest change has happened from this to the other trims. Let's go check out the engine. Well it's known for sure the biggest difference is the new hybrid synergy drive system. This is the same technology used in the Prius and Camry hybrid. This system incorporates a 3.3 liter V6 engine with an electrical system made up of a motor, generator, and battery pack. One electric motor functions as a starter and generator, which starts the gasoline engine and recharges the Highlander's nickel metal hydride battery pack. The other engines work on propulsion and work as generators during braking. This system is mounted to an electronically controlled, continuously automatic transmission, which directs power to all four 17-inch wheels in cooperation with intelligent four-wheel drive system. The interesting thing is that this hybrid engine could accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 7.5 seconds. That is pretty quick for a five-passenger mid-size SUV. Compared to the 8.8 .8 seconds of the gasoline-powered Highlander, the hybrid, without a doubt, has more power. So don't let its environment-friendly engine fool you. It's got more punch than you would think. Even though the Highlander Hybrid is technically a four-wheel drive vehicle, most of the time though it functions in front-wheel drive mode. The electric motor engages the rear wheels only when extra traction or torque is needed. The four-wheel drive on the hybrid model differs significantly from the four-wheel drive system that you would find on gasoline-powered Highlander. Now let's go inside and check out what it has in the interior. We're inside the Highlander Hybrid and as you can see it's the base trim. Basically, it has a two-tone dash with the black on the top and the gray on the bottom, which I think it looks really luxurious. The center console flows evenly with the dash. Um, on the center console itself, it has a little onboard computer up at the top. The onboard computer pretty much displays which, um, 
whether you're using uh, the battery or you're using the um, gasoline powered engine and it also displays your miles per gallon and tire pressure basically everything you would need on an onboard computer the audio system is actually basic it's got the large buttons which I think is a very nice design touch and the air temperature settings are just below and they have nice knobs to touch everything's nice and even the buttons that are important to mention on this center console is the EV and economy buttons the EV button is a button that allows the vehicle to operate in electric only mode at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour for nearly three miles the economy button is used to limit the throttle response the combination of the EV and economy button with a redesigned hybrid system indicator gauge will help you achieve maximum fuel economy. Just like the other trims, the instrument cluster of the hybrid is separated into three separate compartments. The only difference is that the hybrid has a gauge in the left compartment that displays the hybrid system indicator. This gauge consists of two automatic modes normal and acceleration. The display for the normal mode shows three white LED dashes along the outer edge of the power meter. This gauge replaces the gas-powered Highlander's RPM meter. If you keep the needle of the power meter within the three white dashes of the normal mode, a constant level of speed is maintained, which helps to achieve maximum fuel economy. When the gas pedal is pushed, the hybrid system indicator automatically switches to acceleration mode and then the power meter needle must remain within the five white dashes to optimize the amount of fuel being used at the moment. The seats for the base are cloth covered. Um, it kind of looks like suede a little bit. They're really comfortable though. Um, it does, the only thing that's negative about the base trim is if you expect to seat seven people in here, um, it does not come with a third row seat. That's included only in a package. You can't even get it as an option by itself. You have to get it with a package. Um, if you want leather seats and you want third row seats, the trim that you might want to go for in hybrid is the limited hybrid trim. Um, that comes with leather seats standard and the third row seat standard. Overall, the base and the limited trim of the hybrid models are, are very luxurious inside. They do look really nice. They do look like the other hybrid models. It has a couple touches here and there that work with the whole hybrid technology and Synergy Drive thing. But um, overall, it's really nice. It, it does feel really comfortable. So let's take you for a test drive and see how the hybrid model drives. While test driving the hybrid, um, I really do feel like you're driving something different. Um, the steering wheel is electric, the transmission box is electric, and the acceleration is, is kind of feels electric. Everything's re really smooth and you do feel like you're driving something different than you're used to on a gasoline part. It's not that different, but it is a little bit different. Um, the braking is really hard, that's the only negative. Um, like we told you before, the battery gets most of its energy from the braking, so I think it has to be hard for that reason. So that's the only negative, it, it doesn't, it, you can't help but bob everybody's head when you brake. Um, the acceleration when you're when you're driving up to 25 miles per hour you're basically well you're not basically you are you're running an electric motor and the gas the gasoline engine is completely shut off so you, you hear absolutely no noise you don't hear an engine warning or anything but once you start putting your foot on the accelerator and you start going up to 25 miles per hour then you start hearing the engine a little bit so it's really cool and it just it, it's kind of freaks you out a little bit and you don't feel like you know your car's off and you're like trying to figure out what's you know what's wrong so um it does feel a little weird when you're not used to it but you, it's cool um the buttons that are important that i mentioned before was the ev button and the economy button when you push on the ev button it goes to electric mode only and basically it's driving up to 25 miles per hour you're driving on the electric motor basically and um, once you pass 25 miles per hour you start to see that the, the gasoline um, engine starts to show a picture of the gasoline engine meaning you're using the gasoline engine so um, that's pretty much what the EV button does it just turns on your electric motor the, with the economy button what basically happens is let's say you're going at a certain speed your foot is a certain angle, you're pressing a certain amount of pressure to get to a certain speed, right? With the economy button, you push the economy button and you would have to push actually harder on the accelerator to get that same speed you would if you didn't have the economy button on. So basically that's, that's Toyota's way of playing a mind trick on you so that way you save gas. 
So basically, you're driving at slower speeds because we're so used to pushing at certain angles that you're, you're driving at slower speeds than what you think you are. So that's really cool. You're, you think you're driving a certain way and it kind of makes it so that the throttle response is slower and softer. And um, basically, you don't get the same response as you would if you push without it on. So you're saving gas, and that's a good way to save gas. That in combination with the EV button, and in combination with knowing how to use the proper gauge over here, then you you have total, you know, fuel economy, and you have you have control over how much fuel you're using, pretty much. In conclusion, the 2008 Toyota Highlander Hybrid is not only a nice-looking SUV, but it's also environment and gas friendly. The best part is that it still maintains its powerful engine. Overall, Toyota was the first to put the hybrid models on the market, and they still are the best in creating hybrid models that will impress you. Well, that's all we have for today on the 2008 Toyota Highlander Hybrid. Tune in next time for our next test drive.